closing the eyes during prayer. This is a huge problem. And this is something that the Prophet ﷺ also mentioned, that this was something that he prohibited for himself and also for the companions as well. And even Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah also mentions that anybody who wishes to follow the guidance of the Messenger ﷺ, they should abstain from closing their eyes during the prayer. Imam Ahmad rahimahullah mentions that this is actually from the actions of the Yahudi and how they would pray. Next error, a person moving too much in prayer. This is the next problem, moving too much in prayer. Some ulama have said for a person who moves carelessly too much in prayer can actually break their salah, can actually nullify their prayer. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what he mentioned was to protect yourself from kathratul haraka, protect yourself from too much movement in the salah. And that's important to understand because what that tells you is that the Prophet ﷺ did not prohibit any movement in salah. So you literally don't have to train yourself to be like a statue and focused in the salah. But the Prophet ﷺ here from this narration, what it teaches us is that we try to limit that as much as possible. Now we come to the mistakes in the ruku'. When it comes to the mistakes in the ruku', now this is important, listen to this. Saying the takbir in the ruku' or saying Sami'allahu liman hamida in the standing position. This is a mistake when it comes to the prayer. So how does this look? Is that a person will, when they're finished the surah, and then they bow down in the ruku' and they say Allahu Akbar. But when they say Allahu Akbar, it's they're already in the ruku' position. That's the mistake. And if they want to come out of the ruku' position, they will stand up. Allahu liman hamida. This is the mistake. It's a very, very particular mistake to pay attention to. Why? Because the Prophet ﷺ tells us, this is the authentic hadith that proves this. Now listen to how the hadith is. The Prophet ﷺ, Abu Huraira describes it, that he would make the takbir. In other words, he would say Allahu Akbar when he goes into the ruku, whilst he is going into the ruku, not when he arrives in the ruku position. And then he would say, Sami'a Allahu liman hamida. So not when he reaches to the standing position, but whilst he's standing. A lot of people don't even know this. A lot of people don't even think about that this could actually be an error in perfecting their prayer. So what do you want to do? What you'd like to do is you'd like to make sure that your takbir ends when you arrive in the position that you want to get into. So when you get out of the ruku' now, Allahu liman hamida. You see, I finished Sami'allahu liman hamida once I get into the complete standing position. It was a very particular practice of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Next mistake when it comes into the uh, ruku'. And this here is not just for the ruku', but it's for every position in the salah. And that is the lack of al-tama'neena, the lack of relaxation in those positions. Not being relaxed when you get into the ruku', when you get into the sujood. Now, the Prophet ﷺ ordered us to have qatma inna or have relaxation, be calm when you reach these positions. Now, listen to the words of how this hadith is constructed. The Prophet ﷺ is telling this companion, I want you to perform a ruku' until you become relaxed in the ruku' itself. When a person is relaxed in salah, they are going to be relaxed in everything that they do in their life.